Oh my goodness, you guys, I am at WWDC right now and I just got out of the actual event where they announced a bunch of new things like the new 15 inch MacBook Air. We have some new software updates for iOS 17. Also Mac OS Sonoma, a refresh to the Mac Studio, an all new Mac Pro with the M2 chip. And we also have a new M2 chip, the M2 Ultra. But my friends, what we're here for is the Apple VR AR headset, which now officially has a name, Vision Pro. And it's gonna be running on an all new operating system called Vision OS. So Vision Plus, okay, we gotta, we gotta talk about it. Vision Pro. Vi Vision Plus, oh God, <laughs> Vision Pro. So Vision Pro is unlike anything that I've experienced in sort of the AR VR headset genre. I got about 30 minutes with it and it was, I don't even know how to explain it because it's something that you can't really explain until you actually try it. Now sitting there watching the event, I was like, wow, this is really cool. You can have all of this interactivity with different apps. There's all sorts of immersive environments that you can experience. But until I sat down, put the headset on and actually experienced what it was like to maneuver windows, to pinch and just bring a window closer to you, it was so incredibly intuitive, I, I'm actually speechless. No, just kidding, I have a lot to say on it, so we'll keep going. So the entire interface, it basically consists of your surroundings and you navigate it by using your hands, your eyes, and your voice. There's even a virtual keyboard and it actually does have Bluetooth, so you can connect to keyboard and mouse, but they really have designed this, so you don't even need to use any of that. Now the actual headset unit itself is made of a singular piece of laminated glass and an aluminum frame that curves and wraps around your face. Now around the frame, there's an array of cameras and sensors that all work together to capture everything around you. So it understands your surroundings and detects your hand input. Now to actually maneuver around the interface, you use a few different gestures, but how you actually select something is with your eyes. And the first time that I did it, it was just like you looked at something and it selected it. These cameras and sensors are what make all of the new features possible, including their new way to unlock the device called Optic ID. It's very similar to Face ID on your phone and Mac, but instead of using your face, it uses your eyes. Now the straps on the side have built-in spatial audio speakers that are positioned close to your ears that seamlessly blend in with real world sounds. The displays inside the Vision Pro are pretty impressive. There's two micro OLED displays and each one has more pixels than a 4K TV. And that means that the clarity on these displays is so awesome. And the fact that I actually got to experience this was so surreal. We did this one demo where it was a live action dinosaur and it just, the wall just opened up into this entire environment and I actually was walking around the dinosaur and it was watching me. I went and stuck my hand out and it snapped at me and then I went around the other side of the dinosaur and then it followed me and it was just, <laughs> it was so wild because it actually was following me. Going into this, I was kind of skeptical. Even watching the keynotes, me as a super wild Apple fan, I was like, well, am I really gonna use this? Like, what's it gonna look like? Is it gonna be comfortable? And the actual comfort of it, it was, it's still a little heavy, but as far as headsets go, it was pretty comfortable. So the eye cushion also acts like a light seal. So it blocks out all of the external light so nothing can actually get in. And the headband on the back is super comfortable and it's breathable and it stretches to fit your head. There's also the dial that lets you make micro adjustments to fit really well. And the whole thing is a modular system so you can switch out the light seals and headbands to make sure you get the perfect fit. The controls on the Vision Pro are actually very similar to what we used with the Apple Watch and the AirPods Max. There's a top button as well as a digital crown. The top button lets you take spatial photos and videos and the digital crown brings up the home view and lets you control your level of immersion with the environment. As for power, they went with a cable system that connects to an external battery so you can actually plug it straight into the wall for all day power. But with the battery, you can get up to two hours of battery life. Now this little battery pack is really nice. Nice. It is so beautiful. I was like, wait a second. Can we get this just as an external battery pack with USB-C and lightning, please? Maybe, mm, I don't know. Now this whole thing is powered by a dual chip design that combines the M2 chip with a brand new R1 chip. And the R1 is basically designed to handle all of this real time sensor processing. It takes all of the input from all of the cameras and sensors and processes it in real time to eliminate lag from the experience. Another cool feature they announced is EyeSight. This uses the cameras and sensors inside the headset to show the people around you who aren't wearing Vision Pro a virtual representation of your eyes. This will also let you make a detailed scan of your face. So this will let you use the sensors to create a digital persona that others will see on conference calls so people can see you 
as if you're not wearing the headset. Another demo that I really liked is if you have your MacBook. So if you're wearing the Vision Pro at your desk and you open up your MacBook, the display will kind of just lift off your screen and float into your field of view, which is awesome because I could basically be working at my MacBook, but my MacBook is now <laughs> a massive experience in front of my face. I think this would be great for traveling. I love editing on a big screen, but most of the time when I'm traveling, I don't have all of my monitors with me. So with this, I would be able to have my full editing suite basically wherever I go. Now, as I mentioned, the top button lets you take photos and videos. Well, with the Vision Pro, you can actually capture 3D photos and videos. It's hard to convey that in a 2D video, so that's something I'm definitely looking forward to testing out. Now, I did get a demo of a piece of content that was shot with the Vision Pro, and it was so awesome. Like I was sitting here, and then there was uh, a little family, and they were blowing out birthday candles, and when the kids all like, reached in to blow out the candles, like the smoke just like went into my face and I almost expected to smell it because it felt so realistic. One of the things I'm probably most excited about is what Vision Pro was gonna do for entertainment and gaming. Now in the demo, in the keynote, they showed you that you can basically turn any living room into a massive, fully immersive theater experience with a gigantic 100 foot screen and spatial audio surround sound. This also goes for Apple Arcade games as well, and there will be 100 games ready to play on Vision Pro at launch. This is something that I could have only dreamed about when I was a child, and now it is here. In the demo, I was watching the 3D version of Avatar, and it was wild. I normally don't ever watch 3D movies because you have to wear like the glasses, and like the theater experience just doesn't feel great, but this didn't feel like I was watching a 3D movie because it felt like I was actually there. So the 3D experience was pretty impressive. The other thing that was really cool is you can watch these shows or movies in your element. So I can still watch it in my living room and then like the background will kind of dim. But if you want to go into that cinematic experience, you can do that where everything just sort of makes it look like it's in a theater. So you can do both of those things and have those options, but it just was it just looks so cool. Now they have an all new OS called Vision OS, and this will have a dedicated app store with 3D apps created specifically for Vision Pro, as well as compatible iPhone and Mac apps. This has gotta be super exciting for developers. This is gonna give them so many fun things to work on over the next couple of years. Now, as far as price, it is coming in at $3,500, which is actually pretty expensive when you compare it to some other devices that are out there on the market, but, like I get it though, because this is not like any other device on the market right now. And this isn't something that I'm plugging into a computer. This is its own freestanding device. And at first I thought that it was plugged into a phone and that's what was powering it. But no, it's being powered all on its own with the M2 and the new R1 chip. And it's gonna be really cool to see what people do with this. They did partner with Disney, so all Disney Plus shows will be available at launch, which is great because there's a lot of great content on there. This also makes me really excited because I have a feeling that they're gonna be creating some special content that can be specifically viewed on this device. During the keynote, Tim said that this is the first Apple product that you look through, not at. And I definitely think that's pretty cool. And having seen this in person with my real eyes, I just, I just, I don't know. Like this is the beginning. I mean, I don't think this is gonna be something that every single person is gonna go out and buy, but eventually when it does become more cost effective, smaller, more portable, then I don't know. I mean, Apple is definitely on the right track with this. What do you guys think of Vision Pro? I would love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. When I get hands-on with this thing, you'll be the first to know about it. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.